Hey guys, Woodruff here. Um, now we're going to get into, this is a very short one slide PowerPoint. We're going to talk real quick about gastroenteritis. So we've talked about gastritis and we've started to talk about some problems that you can have in your intestines. And gastroenteritis is a problem that happens. Um, it, it's pretty much what, when you think of like a stomach bug or like when you um, get like food poisoning, that kind of stuff. Like when I've talked about stuff coming out both ends, this is what gastroenteritis is. And it's an inflammation it can be in the stomach and in the intestines. That's where the gastro is the stomach enter enteritis is in the intestines. It's an inflammation um, that um, usually is caused by a virus. Um, it feel like this is where like there's times I've swore I had food poisoning, but it was actually just a stomach bug or a virus. Um, and what usually happens here is again, stuff from both ends. So you're sitting on the toilet feeling like you need to poop, but then you start vomiting too. So you need like a waste basket and a toilet to sit on. Um, so it's usually sudden, it's diarrhea, nausea, vomiting. You can have fever, cramping. Um, it's usually self-limiting, only lasts for a few days. And um, uh, when patients have this, you know, we just want, they can usually be managed at home. They usually don't need a treatment unless they're severely dehydrated. So we just encourage fluids at whatever they can take in PO. We really want them to get fluids in that have glucose and also electrolytes to support what they might be losing through their diarrhea and vomiting. Cause we've talked about diarrhea and vomiting as two separate things, but when you have them at the same time, there's just a higher risk for those imbalances to occur. Um, and then um, if they can't take PO, they might need to go and get some IV fluids and stuff like that. But again, there's not a Lot we can do for this um, because it's not bacterial it's usually viral origin um, we just have to kind of let it subside get all that stuff out and then just support good hydration nutrition and help um, with the person's symptoms that they're experiencing since this is infectious we usually don't want to use anti-diarrheals we want to get that stuff out um, but just try to support the patient best you can if they're vomiting you can um, do good oral care and stuff with them support a good position lots of rest and they should be better soon all right, I'll see you for the next one.